Here we are for the second fight of the afternoon of the show. We've got Thomas Patrick Ward, or Tommy Ward as his fans and family know him, against Elvis Gillen. Or Gullen. Or Let's go for that one. We'll go for Gullen, just, uh, just to be consistent. Yeah. Got some interesting parallels here, Andy. Obviously, they're looking at Gullen's previous record. He's certainly fought at a good level. He's got a mixed bag. He's had won some, lose some, but looking at the level he's been fighting. He has, he has been, the, the, the types of lads he's been fighting have been like world class lads. You yeah. Know, Stewie Hall, boxed Stewie Hall, boxed Tommy's brother Martin, who's on later on. Um, so it's, it's a decent step for, for Tommy. It's a good fight for him. Obviously, last time out, Tommy won against Robbie Turley was a cracking fight, yeah. which was a, a British title eliminator, and he's obviously just waiting for that to, to come to fruition now. So he's he's really having a, a keep busy fight here, but it's yeah, it's a, it, it's at a good level. It should it's the lad should a step provide down. nah should provide him a decent tough. He's caught him with some good right hands. Tommy's boxing really well here. Very very composed, very settled. He's so skillful. I mean, he's, he is. Yeah, he's just at that stage. I was talking to him at. Uh, Actually, at the Fight and Chan show yeah. a few weeks ago, and we're talking about oh, how. Oh, oh. Looked like he actually had a reaction that. Yeah, he's. Got, I mean, he's caught him with a couple of shots there. I don't know whether it's Gillian's style, but he's, he seems to be a little bit off balance every time Tommy's hitting him. That could be the movement. It could be the shots and yeah. the angles that Tommy's hitting him. But he's picking his shots really well, Tommy, isn't he? He always seems to do it in a way where he just doesn't take the shots back. He doesn't take a lot back, Tommy. Yeah. Ward. Oh, good shot. Oh, that was a really, really good right hand over the top there by Tommy. Go on, Tommy, then. Do you think he's trying to go one better than his brother? Well, he's, his brother, he, he fought him in a four round contest uh, in September last year and he stopped him in three rounds, which was. Oh. Because Martin's not. Yeah, he's, he's certainly not a one punch concussive knockout merchant. Um, but this guy's gone the distance with some top, top guys. He went uh, eight rounds, went the distance with Stuart Hall last yeah. year. So. Tommy's I shots, I mean, I mean, they look very solid when he's landing. I mean, every, everyone, everyone knows Tommy is like a, a very good, skillful boxer, yeah. but he, he seems to be stamping his authority very, very early on in this fight. Well, he's at the stage work. of his career now, he's 22, he'll be coming into his strength, he's obviously stepping up in the level now, he's going to title level and he's certainly ready for that, but he's... Oh, good shots, really good shots then by Tommy. It looks like he's putting a little bit more devil in those shots yeah. there, Andy. Oh, oh, good shot there, he nearly had him over. I guess say when Tommy's hitting him with them shots, every every single one seems to just keep him off balance. He's, he's, he's legs are moving. That was a very very good opening round by Tommy Ward. There, a very impressive start of the fight. Fight opponents that they know they're going to win every yeah. time. They don't have the challenges where he's actually had been stepping up in levels yeah. as he's been moving through. Yeah. And uh, he's obviously risen to those challenges every time. I mean, you've only got one knock knockout on the record against David Lake early in his career. But right. because he's been stepping up in levels, he's been getting the rounds, he's been getting the experience, and now you're seeing the fruits of that, aren't you? Been doing it the right way, yeah. The, not getting not getting the pushovers, getting the experience, getting the rounds under his belt, and it pays off in the long run when, you, when you're doing them 12-round fights. Oh, he's footwork as well. He's brilliant. Really, really good step of the side there. Just missed him with a shot, but can't fault the effort. 
once again taking nothing back in return so yeah a little bit low there by Tommy forgive him though <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that one definitely nothing wasn't wrong low. with that one yeah you look at the guys that Gull Gullen's fought and yeah he just looks bamboozled yeah I mean uh, Tommy's just sickening them with them body shots he's, he's bringing them around the side through the middle with the six round, obviously, we always talk about when you when you do the four rounds, how it how it pays off in them extra two rounds or longer. You go with the body shots and yeah. Obviously, Tommy's putting the foundations in now. Make the fight a bit easier for him later on in the fight. The thing is, when you're coming when back with a couple, yeah, still, but but still he's, trying. But he's not getting through, and it's the. I think when you are so on top in a fight. One of the important things is don't give your opponent any a window, anything that yeah, yeah exactly. Because if he's if you keep making a miss, it means that he can't throw with confidence. So oh. even if he does catch it, it's not going to be a full blown shot. He's just landing at will. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Tommy's using the angles really, really well. Stepping around the side up, I caught shots at like. I mean, it's an experienced head he's got on his shoulders, like we say, a 22 year old, but the things he's doing, the step rounds to the side, the body shots coming around the side, them are, the, them are some good tricks, some good experience, the things that he's learned. He's also, he's coming forward a bit more on this, and normally he's a, he's a moving fighter, yeah. creating the space and counter punches, combinations, moving out, where he's, he's, he's coming forward, that's certainly, yeah. certainly telling him the, in the power. Well, you can see he's just he's planting his feet there when he's on the inside. He's taking his chances and then getting out. But he's not he's not jumping back. He's sliding, sliding in and out. So he's always on balance. Yeah. He's having some good success with them shots, just bringing them around the side. Obviously, Gillian's trying to keep them hands up, up in front. He's leaving the, he's leaving the little spaces around the side of their head. Tommy's taking full advantage of them. Yeah, you need a, a winky right guard, yeah. don't you? Just to cover everything. <laughs> Longest arms in the world. Another good round there by Tommy Ward. I thought another, another excellent display of boxing skills from him. It, it just comes with experience. It comes with the rounds that you do in the ring. And like you say, you get, you, you get lads starting off and they're in the ring and they do that and the head's down and the hands are up and they don't know how to fight on the inside it's learning that you've, you sometimes do have to take a little shot on the inside and it's how you deal with that how you how you defy it how you defend against it how you block it how you just ride it just that little bit yeah that's the difference Tommy Ward starting the third round here the way that he left off on the second on the front foot bringing the shots around the side and through the middle he's Again, obviously professional boxing, the, you know, boxers, you, you know yourself, Andy, how dedicated you have to be. But those who, the likes of your mayor, well, as the guys who reach the very top, are just ultra, ultra, 100% dedicated. And yeah. you've I certainly mean, got that with Tommy Ward. You just, when you when you when you find at them levels, yeah, that that that's your job full time. A lot of the lads, a lot of the lads on the local scene, yeah, um, just starting out and things. That they've got full time jobs, full time families, and it's very 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 hard to fit your training in, to fit your work in, and yeah. to get your rest and your diet right. And it does help with them them fellas once you start earning the big bucks and you're you're at them levels that you've got all the time to do what you want and train what you want. But Tommy's always in fantastic nick. Obviously Neil Fannin trains him really really well. Um, oh, that, I really felt that body shot there. You seen him? I think I felt that one. Yeah. <laughs> Heard it at ringside. It really made a nice little crack. Andy, for such, such a nice guy, you've got a bit of devil in you still. <laughs> I'm not a sadist. I promise. <laughs> You're also not a saint. <laughs> <laughs> Neither am I. And then that's Tommy Ward. The way he's putting, doing some damage here. I think I think Galen, Gillen, whatever Gillian. I think he's still got something left in him, but I think if Tommy keeps keeps this going, I think you might get him out of there. You see, he's, yeah, I think I think he's just getting a reaction every now and again, isn't he? I think Gillian's Gillian's a fairly tough tough customer, and Tommy's hurt him a couple of times in this fight, and he's still coming forward, and he's still having a crack. He's never he's never been over. He's never been really 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 hurt but he's had he's had them shots i think the body shot just earlier on that round he felt that and um the right hand from earlier on he, he really felt that one as well 
but he's still coming forward, he's still throwing the shots, still making it competitive for Tommy Ward. Yeah. And because he is that tough. It, but, but the thing is, you've you got Ward, he's, 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 he's not a you know, five fight, he's, he's, he's had 17 fights yeah. now. He, he knows you've got to stay switched on at all times, he's learned yeah. things, he's, 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 he's dealt with cuts. Yeah. He's fought on big stadium shows. He's got a lot of experience. I think he was um, European amateur champion as a junior as well. Yeah, he had a very, very good amateur. Both, both the Ward brothers had a very, very good amateur career. And obviously, you can see he's got the foundations there, and he's still carried. He's carried on them into the professionals. The brotherly competitiveness that they've got, you know. I guarantee you, <laughs> they'll certainly be that. <laughs> but there's a lot of love in the room as well. Yeah. So into the second half of the fight now in the fourth round. Once again. Tommy carrying on with them body shots. Seems just be stepping the pace up a little bit in this round. Yeah. The start that, of the round anyway. Ward's last few fights he's been fighting over like the ten round distance. Yeah, so he's so he's conditioned himself for the longer rounds. see his timing's really good as yeah. well yeah but you can see Gillen there he's, he's, he's thinking about launching and he, 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 he's stopping he's yeah. thinking about it and stopping because I he's think been he, landing so little yeah he can't th throw with confidence I think he knows as well as as soon as he Tom, Tommy's setting little traps for him to come yeah. in little feints little movements with the feet and I think he knows if he goes in he's going to take a shot and he cannot really leave himself exposed because like he's getting said, punished every time isn't yeah. he there you go Hey, I've said it a million times and I'll say it a million more these boxers do not get paid enough <laughs> this is just ridiculous commitment <laughs> the gum shield gum goes Gillian. out out the ring well, they need to give that a bit of a wash <laughs> you would hope so there we go, health and safety. I think it's a bit of a language barrier things, right? in the corner there. <laughs> yeah. Paul Charter's practicing his Spanish there. <laughs> <laughs> and here we resume once again. Honestly, man, it's just, he's just come back off holiday, that's what it is. <laughs> Multilingual now. <laughs> You'll be learning English soon. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you, Paul Chart, as I love you. He's taken a few shots back here, Ward. It's a, yeah, he took a, a prime like, example. You cannot get complacent at any stage at this level. There's no way that I know Tommy Ward doesn't go in there looking for knockouts, but when his yeah. brother Morton knocked him out in three rounds last year. You can't tell me that there'd not be an element of a part of him that would be thinking, I want to, I want to be my brother. Or yeah. I mean, you've got to, you've got to, like, when you go into a fight, you've got to not get drawn in by all the things that have happened beforehand, or like a lad that I fought, boxed him, and, and yeah, he can be C, B, in one, two rounds, and you yeah. think, I've got to go in there because it's your performance and it's it's your fight against him, so you just make your, you make your mark and you fight the way that you fight, regardless of what's happened in the past. Styles make fights, sometimes sometimes styles make terrible fights and sometimes make good yeah. ones. Another very good round there by Tommy Ward. But it's great though when you get to this stage of your career and you haven't picked up those bad habits by you know, it's like okay I can take a shot, but why take shots against guys who you can take shots against when you can yeah. pick up those bad habits and then you're gonna get you know, you're gonna pay for them when you as you go into title level. Mm -hmm. Defence is still tight, nice and high guard. You see Tommy stuck in the same game plan throughout the fight. Yeah. It's working for him, so why change it, you know? He's he's coming forward, but he's not coming forward bulldozing forward. Yeah. He's he's just pressing forward with his feet. Looking to find the gaps, get the space right, yeah. get his timing. Like even even when he's hurt him, he hasn't rushed in and jumped all over them. 
Well, why change a winning formula? Yeah. Really, really good use of the footwork, that. Oh, oh. lovely shot. Seems to be having... Seems yeah. to be having a little bit of fun in there now, Tommy, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh. What? This is spectacular. The, watch. the boxing fan and me just just wants this to go the distance, so uh -huh. I've got another. Just watch another, another couple of rounds. Four minutes of this, yeah. Let's say you could watch it all day, couldn't you? You get them kind of fights where it's a war, two lads to stand there, brain each other all over the place, and then you get like absolutely clinical, really, really good boxing displays like you get in here. Joy to watch. This, this, just to put you on the spot there, and this reminds me of the fight you had with Gary Bolden a few years ago at uh, yeah. Newcastle, where you were just so on top, you were breaking them down, he was proving his toughness, but it was like, it was brutal. Yeah. But it wasn't a slug fest. Yeah. It was, but it was brutal. It was boxing. I enjoyed that fight. Like, it was, I, I, I wanted to do 10 rounds. I, I'd done the 10 rounds, you know. Yeah. Gary Bolton's a tough guy. Nice lad. Um, his, his corner men were certainly brave that night. Ha, <laughs> they were. I. <laughs> thing is, when, when Ward takes so few shots in return, and then he does actually take one. People who haven't seen him fight think might think, "Ooh, when, yeah." When guys don't get hit, and all the, the they don't always have the durability, you know. Yeah. But he's been in some tough fights, Tommy, and he's yeah. taken some big shots. Gillian still, like I say, he's still come forward, still giving a try, throwing his punches back. He's another one certainly earning his wages today. I mean, going off his record, you can see out of his nine wins, he's he stopped six people, so he's got a he's got a decent yeah. bit of power behind him. Well, there's been a couple of exchanges on the inside there where he's, he's landed two or three shots. Yeah. Close in with on Tommy, and they've locked solid shots. Yeah. Tommy's just took the knee bother at all, though. That's what he does. Good end of the there round there go. again by Tommy. It's a very, very good performance, this. Very, very good performance. So, one more round in the bank. One more round to go. You see from the performance there that he's going, he's, he's going in the right direction towards Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Like, you see in the legs of like Josh Wong when they went through with their... It looks like oh, they're just a box and haven't got the power. And then you see them, the accumulation of shots where Tommy's landing yeah. there, and they're getting more solid and heavier and heavier the older he gets, you know. He's still got, he's still got plenty of time to, like, to, to grow, to improve, and, yeah. to, and to build on what he's doing. So there's plenty of time for stuff like that. The main, the main, thing, for, the main thing for Tommy is getting through the fights, getting the experience, and getting that win in the column. Yeah. And obviously these... He's looking to get that British title fight shortly, which he won the Eliminator for, so he, he'll also be looking to make sure he doesn't get, pick up any bad cuts in here. Yeah, as well, well that's, a, that's the thing. I think priority for this last round is just keep it, keep it simple. He's won the fight nice and easy. He's very, very good workout for him. Doesn't want to take any, any silly head clashes or cuts that could get him a little cut or a nick and put things back just a little bit more. Still looking fast, still looking sharp. Him because he doesn't really load up on his shots. Yeah. He's been getting that the, the extra power he's been getting in these has been from, from his balance and his natural leverage and, and coming forward with the shots. But he doesn't load up with them, so you see guys loading up, landing gloves, missing, and they're actually taking more out of themselves yeah. sometimes than their opponents and come the third or fourth round and the tank's starting to run a little bit empty. I think them body shots have been paying dividends for, for Tommy Ward now. He's creeping them through, and I think Gillian's defence is just that little bit easier to go through. Tommy's hitting them with a little, the, the little pit patch shots just to open them up a bit. And yeah. Very good footwork there, just cutting them off. That's how you cut yeah. an opponent off there. You don't don't Follow give them the space here. It's a difference between following someone round and, and cutting them off. You heard him again with that body shot. Oh, really, really, really yeah. tasty little uppercut on the inside there. But you can just see the focus on his face as well. It's yeah. just.
they're sick as them shots straight through the middle you can't see it coming either can you so nah. there's another one and Tommy's got quick hands you know and when when you put that together with the sharpness and the maturity he showed the night and really good shots again by Tommy he's picking them really well now like we said in the last round I think he's having a bit of fun with it he's picking the speed up and just dropping the power a little bit yes. obviously the with Gillen being a, a previous opponent for Martin Ward they will obviously have a bit of information on him yeah so preparing for the fight will have been a bit easier but it looks like he's had the perfect game plan Spot on. He stuck to it perfectly. He's looked very good doing it. Yeah. And he moves on to his British title shot next, hopefully. Wow. Great action. Very, very good. Very, very, very good performance here by Tommy Ward. Patrick Ward, Tommy Ward, to friends and family. What a fantastic performance. You're, you've, you've been getting some extra power into your shots there. You said it was going to come. Yeah, it, it's coming. Obviously, it um, comes more and more every fight. You work on it in the gym. I'm maturing more as a man. I've just turned 22. I know. Happy Tommy, birthday. The power's coming, but I mean, I'm still not fully developed. It's still long progress working, but I've got the British title soon and I'm, I'm really looking forward to that fight. I'm looking forward to a tough, hard fight and I'm more than ready to bring that belt home. I'm, I'm having it. So you, you won the Eliminator. What's, mm. what's, what's the next steps for the title? Any ideas when it's going to be? Where? Uh, back, be at the back end of the year. I mean, and Dickinson holds the belt, who's a, a good fighter and a very nice lad. All his team yeah. is and obviously boxed brother Martin. I know them, know them very well. And I mean, uh, he's a good kid, but he's fighting me gone now next week. And all the best to him. I hope yeah. he does. You know, I hope he wins. But uh, if he doesn't, then it's up to him. He can have a vacate or obviously because I know he's uh, ranked top in Europe. So I don't know if he's going to go that route or not. Yeah. But I'm just waiting to see my options. I'm just out again, keep keeping busy. And I'm, I'm progressing every day in the gym and I'm looking forward to that next step. You know, I'm really looking forward to it. And it's not about changing things, it's adding things. It's adding things. things. Bit by bit, isn't it? Yeah, ever since the turn pro, I mean, Neil's been adding to my game. E e every day we're in the gym, all the time. E after every fight, we're improving. And it's not just Neil seeing them improvements. You guys are seeing I mean, yeah. you just said there. So, I mean, I'm only doing what I'm doing in the gym. And it's working now in the ring, you know. So, that's, that's the whole idea of it. Well, it's well, great keep, to see. Keep, and keep getting better and then we'll be working our way at the top. The North East will be back on the map big time one never. And you've got all the time in the world as all well. All the time in the world, 22. I mean, I'm there, I'm there for a long, long way. So everyone out there, you'll probably fight me a couple of times. Well, 18 and 0, 22 <laughs> years old. You're going to have a shower, mate, and enjoy the rest of the show. Big magazine, tune in. Top man.